Now that the professor has introduced you to recurrence relation and he gave the definition of it, let us see an example for clear understanding. The example goes like this. Let A and B be a sequence that satisfies the recurrence relation a over a n is equal to a n minus 1 minus 2 a n minus 2. So this is the relation for n equals 2, 3, 4 and so on. Suppose a naught is 3 and a 1 is 5 then what are a 2 and a 3? So the recurrence relation is given to us and it is given that a naught is 3 and a 1 is 5. We have to find out the terms A2 and A3. So An is An minus 1 minus 2 An minus 2. And A0 is 3, A1 is 5. Now what do we have to find out? A2 and A3. Let me start with A2. How do we obtain A2? A2 can be obtained by substituting 2 for N. Right? So for n equals 2, now, you see, if I substitute n as 2, the recurrence relation becomes a2 equals a2 minus 1 which is a1 minus 2 into n minus 2 which is 2 minus 2 which becomes a minus 2 a0. You see, to obtain a2, we must first find out a1 and a0. And to find out a3, we must do something else that is we must have a, a2 and then a1. Do you see the relation? To find out a bigger term you need the previous terms. So a2 is given to be, we have to find out a2, a1 is given to be 5 and a0 is 3. So let me substitute that 5 minus 2 into 3 which is 5 minus 6 and this is minus 1. Now when I substitute n as 3 I get a3 equals so 3 minus 1 is 2 a2 minus 2 into 3 minus 2 is 1 so minus 2 a1 do you see earlier to calculate a2 we wanted a0 and a1 now for a3 we want a1 and a2 so the relation is you need the preceding terms to find the next terms a2 is minus 1 we just found out that a1 is 5 So, it is minus 1 minus 2 into 5 which is minus 1 minus 10 equals minus 11. And hence, the question has been answered A2 is minus 1 and A3 is minus 11. Let us see another problem now. Consider this sequence 0, 2, 6, 12, 20, 30, 42 and so on. Now the question is, you have to write a recurrence relation for this sequence. So earlier question was, you were given the recurrence relation and you were given two terms. You had to find out some other terms. But in this question, you have been given the sequence and you have to find out the recurrence relation. How will you do that? So the given sequence is 0, 2, 6, 12, 20, 30, 42, so on. Now, the first step would be to find out the difference between corresponding or consecutive terms. Let us see how to do that. A0 is given to be 0, A1 is given to be 2, A2 is given to be 6 and so on. Let me calculate the differences a1 minus a0 is given to be 2, a2 minus a1 is given to be 4, a3 minus a2 is given to be 6, a4 minus a3 is 8, a5 minus a4 is 10, a6 minus a5 is 12 and so on. Now, take a minute here, take a pause and observe the differences. What do you see? You see that the difference is can be written as a n minus a n minus 1. Why? Because 
each time I am writing a1 minus a0, a2 minus a1. So I am taking the difference of successive terms. So in general, I can write it as a n minus a n minus 1 equals 2 n. Did you observe that? Let me just take one difference and explain it. a1 minus a0 is 2. So if I write n is equal to 1, it becomes in the general form, if I write n is equal to 1, we get it as a1 minus 1 minus 1 is 0 and hence a 0 a0 is equal to 2 into 1 which is 2 and this holds true for every difference. So in general, these differences can be written as a n minus a n minus 1 is equal to 2 n. So this is the recurrence relation for the sequence which is given 0, 2, 6, 12, 20 and so on. Now, we have found out the recurrence relation for the sequence. But wait a minute, we can do something more here. What can we do? Observe, I take all these differences. So a3 minus a2, 4 minus 3, a5 minus a4, so on. So I have taken all the differences up to the nth term. an minus an minus 1 is equal to 2n. Right? So these are the differences. Now, what do I do is I add up, I sum up all these equations. Okay? Now, some basic maths tells me that I can calculate uh, or I can rather sum up these by cancelling some terms. What are those terms? a1 minus a1, a3 minus a3, a4 minus a4, a5 minus a5, all these terms get cancelled. What remains is, you see, a n minus 1 minus a n minus 2 is equal to 2 into n minus 1. This is the last but one term. Now, a n minus 1 minus a n minus 1, this also gets cancelled. So, what remains at the end is a n minus a naught is equal to 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus so on up to 2 n. So, how did we get this? Only a n terms a n term remains and a naught term remains at the end after summing up. And the sum on the right hand side becomes 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 so on up to 2 n. Right? Now given this equation, I can do some jugglery here. What is that? I'll take out 2 common. So when I take out 2 common, uh, what remains is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus so on up to n. And this you must be remembering from uh, induction chapter, mathematical induction chapter. We had seen that sum of n terms happens to be n into n plus 1 by 2. So this can be written as 2 into n into n plus 1 by 2. Now, cancelling 2 on numerator and denominator, I get it as n into n plus 1. Now, do you see that a n minus a naught is n into n plus 1? Well, a naught I can substitute as 0 because a naught is given to be 0 and hence a n is equal to 2 n into n, my n into n plus 1. Now, this is the closed form for the sequence. Did you observe that? We first found out what is the recurrence relation for the sequence and now we are finding out the closed form for it. So, representing a n in terms of n, this becomes a closed form. So, this is also called as the solution for the recurrence relation. So, a n equals n into n plus 1 is the solution for the given recurrence relation.